on creating spaces and pages in Fury. Space can be represented as a business role with the list of pages within it and each page can be mapped to a task role with the most relevant apps for the users which can be easily accessed to perform an activity. Page is part of a space. A space is visualized by the list of pages with source that the ties that allow users to quickly launch apps to access business content they need to complete their business related tasks. A space contains at least one or more than one page. In this scenario, consider accounts payable as a business role and, and it is also a space which has multiple pages in it such as overview, supplier, supplier invo invoices, payments, periodic activities and purchasing repeats. This page, uh, this page con consists of a section called supplier invoices which has uh, multiple types mapped to it. Create supplier invoice, import supplier invoice and create and display supplier invoice. We will quickly try to see how this looks in the system when we have not implemented uh, the spaces concept and then we will try to create a space and mapped uh, and uh, and also create a page and uh, the page will be mapped to a space and it would also have a section a section and tile to it i am going to log into the demo user which does not have the spaces concept enabled This user has the accounts payable manager role assigned to it. As you can see that this uh, this is the normal way the Fiori looks with all the uh, with the different groups such as current settings, approvals, and the types mapped to it. Now we will try to log into the Fury admin user and uh, try to create a space and uh, map a page to it and with the section and tile concept. Once you logged into the admin user, you, sh you can see the tiles such as manage launchpad spaces and manage launchpad pages, which will help you to create space and pages. Once you click on the manage launchpad space, it comes with the customer created and the SAP delivered ones. You can also see uh, if you are using directly the business role, uh, then uh, you, you can check for the SAP delivered uh, spaces concept. But since we are trying to, uh, so a scenario where we can create a custom one, will uh, will use the uh, custom. Uh, will you will check the how how to create the custom spaces. You can simply navigate to create and uh, name it as. ZSP AP underscore manager any name which uh, which finds uh, relevant to you uh, so that you follow the same naming convention I've just given it as uh, ZSP underscore AP manager one because I already have an account payable manager created for this scenario and I'll just mention it as a pan AP manager There is also an option that uh, because since each sp uh, each space should have at least one page map to it, so it gives you an option that uh, while you are creating a space for the first time, you can uh, create a page parallelly to it. So you can uh, name your page ID as I've just mentioned it as ZPG, so it uh, at least we can differentiate between uh, what is space and what is page, and uh, you can give the page description as per your requirement. Um, 
just uh, in this scenario i'm just giving it as ap manager and you can select the transport which you are uh, you are uh, using for custom creation this is a way you can create a space I'm not going to create a space now. If I just click on create, a space would be created. Since I have already uh, created a space for this scenario, I'm going to use that one. I'll create a page and I'll show you how uh, we are going to, uh, how does it look when we enable the pages concept. The space I'm going to create will be mapped to this uh, ZSP underscore AP manager space. You can navigate to the Manage Launchpad Pages app and just create one page. As you can see that I have already created a three page. That is ZPG underscore AP Manager one. So it is, I have named it as an overview page and I have added multiple uh, uh, ties to it. And this particular area it it is uh, it can be considered that this page has two sections. One is overview with uh, with shows the account payable overview, and the other section has uh, which has aging analysis, invoice processing analysis, and overdue payables. I'll create a fourth uh, page, and then uh, that page will be mapped to a space. Uh, just to uh, follow the naming convention and uh, what I'm going to create, uh, this page uh, will actually con uh, contain tile uh, for the which has which shows the current settings. As you can see that uh, the page has been created, but is, uh, there is no page content to it. So we'll try to add uh, content to it. And also it is not assigned to a space. Once the content has been created, uh, when we say content, uh, it means section with the, with, with the ties to it. So I'll just try to create a uh, first section and then map, um, map, to, uh, map it to a space. I'll name my section as current settings. And once I have created a section, I need to uh, uh, I need to add tiles to it. So you can do it, uh, yeah. And uh, before before adding tile, you must know the the catalog from which you you need to bring the tiles. So we can just go here and uh, click on catalogs. And uh, the business role which I am using has the catalog. Uh, this is the catalog. Uh, like if you can see, it is a BC underscore AP current setting. So it has the uh, ties mapped to the current setting app. Once you have just selected the catalog, it will show the list of ties mapped to it. In my case, there are two ties uh, which are mapped to it. I'll try to add uh, both, the, uh, both the ties. And uh, you can also see that you can either it add it as a tile or add it as a link. So I'll just add it as a tile. Now I have created a page uh, with a section name as current settings and these are the tiles mapped to it. I'll just save this. Now uh, our task is to assign this uh, assign this page to a space. You can go to the manage launchpad spaces Select the one which you are trying to uh, modify, uh, add a page to it. I'll, I'll search, look for the one which I have created. Like you see, uh, it has already come up. So I'll just add to it. So previously I have created four, uh, four pages uh, which I mapped to this space. Uh, those are overview, analytics, payments, and current settings. Now I'll, I'll just save the changes.
this is a fury admin user which I, we were mapped to it and now i will uh, i'll log into the user uh, which is uh, in, in which we will try to see the changes uh, related to the spaces concept Uh, to test that scenario, I have already created a user such a, uh, named as Fury3 as uh, as the spaces concept is uh, visible with the S4HANA 2020 feature. So this user has the role assigned uh, to it. It is a demo user with the accounts payable manager role and in this user we are using the pages uh, spaces concept as you can see that the spaces use spaces has been enabled and now uh, once you uh, once you have logged in uh, to this user and uh, and you want to see the, uh, see the changes which has been reflected if you if i just click on the drop down you can see that this account payable manager has four uh, pages mapped to it, which are overview, analytics, and analytics. Analytics has a section which is called payable, uh, means and payable has multiple styles to it. And then uh, this is a current setting which we created just now, which the with the section name as current setting and map two uh, two uh, types to it, which is defined accounting clerks and edit uh, option for journal uh, journal entries. So this is a way how we can actually create a space and page a pages concept and uh, uh, and utilize utilize it as per our business scenarios. Thank you for uh, watching this video.